Hi guys, uh, today I'm going to cover how to uh, change the um, teleset graphic with the uh, YYCHR, SNS, PAL and uh, with, the, with the help of uh, the level editor FX, FF6LE. So uh, today I'm going to edit the treasure chest. Um, first you open FF6LE. I prefer it to Zone Doctor because it has a palette selector here. So uh, it's easier to work with. Uh, to make sure you're on, you're on the right map, uh, you can select event triggers or chests. Okay, you see the chests are highlighted, so it means we are on the good, uh, the good palette. Now a map has a 16 palette of 16 colors. So uh, each uh, each row is one palette. Uh, one trick uh, to to find the palette you need is to uh, select a color that is easy ch changeable. Like if I select the red here, I know it's the torch, which are which are here. So changing that should change the torch. You you press auto update, and then you tweak that and you should see you see the torch became yellow so that means this is the torch palette the, uh, the, 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 the palette the torch is on so uh, basically uh, doing the same process with the uh, with the chess uh, we'll find this palette here which is uh, palette number one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven palette of the 15 sets. The, the, the 50th, 50th set. Okay, so when you got the, your palette, uh, you're gonna open SNS PAL. Okay, and uh, let's say I'm gonna go back on the offset zero. Okay, beginning of the ROM. So uh, the easiest way to work with that is to take uh, the color value uh, of your um, of the color, one of the color of the palette, and enter it here, red, green, blue. Make sure auto convert is selected, uh, and uh, no index limit is selected. You go find match. Now, all right. So now we got a bunch of matches uh, all over the ROM, but uh, with the help of uh, the wiki, the ROM map uh, on the wiki, we know that map palettes start at ED C480 and finish at ED F47F. 48 uh, palettes, 250 by each, so 16 times 16. So we know it should be in this area. I'm gonna link the ROM map in the, the description of the video after. So basically, we're gonna go in that range. We got a match here, is this one. 2D, DC, 2C. 2 is E, because it's a uh, ROM offset on the uh, weak, uh, the ROM map wiki. Um, yeah, so basically this is a way to find your color and you see uh, the palette is starting right here with the black but black is the first color is for transparency I think so basically it's not used so uh, the first color to be used is uh, this one here. Alright, so now that you got your, pa your, uh, your color uh, your palette on the, in SNS PAL. This program allows you to uh, modify the palette. So uh, another way we could have uh, actually uh, um, calculate that is to take f to make 15 times 256 plus one two three four five plus five five times uh, 16 and add this to the starting offset 
and you probably uh, have landed uh, in this area here so you could have just scrolled through and tried to find the color but I, I prefer the, the color search uh, an, easier, an easier way uh, to find the palette when you know in which region it should be uh, okay so basically now uh, what we're going to do okay so we got SNS Palo open you're gonna open uh, YYCHR you're, uh, you're gonna open your ROM and uh, you're gonna open GIMP and this is your model we have a Chrono Trigger treasure chest so uh, you open this you can configure the grid and it's easier to work with and you you you, you do um, show grid here show grid and image configure grid you set that to 1 1 if you want to uh, the grid colors is here so you, you got your model uh, you got your ROM open so now the first thing you're gonna do is uh, yeah first of all I'm gonna show you something uh, you'll need a uh, Z ZSNS uh, safe states my safe states is right here when you you got this is a screenshot but the safe state is at that moment where you see you must see the object you want to edit on screen so it's going to save the palette in the safe state so i got my save state uh, here so basically i'm going to go to palette load emulator state file or you can press f12s and i'm going to select my save state okay so you see now basically you got the palettes that are on screen here so we can recognize if we match it with the uh, the one in LE you see this palette here we know it's this one because it matched exactly the same colors here on that row so uh, basically we're gonna edit this now so okay now we're gonna find the uh, the chest we want to edit so uh, okay you can either scroll the ROM like that to go to uh, the objects the tile sets okay you see now I'm, I'm yeah uh, yeah I know I'm I'm pretty much in no, this is the this, this is the sprite. Uh, it's lower. Okay, it's right here. Yeah. Okay. So it start it start around here. This is all the um, the tile sets. Uh, the graphics are divided by layers. So uh, each tile set, uh, each maps, each layers has its own tile set. So uh, an easy way to um, to find what you want is to either set the good palette here or uh, set the palette to an object close to it because like the treasure chest there's three instances of the treasure chest in three uh, different tile sets so we make sure you're gonna edit the right one so to do that you just go to here and you'll see on the top right corner this is the, the, the all the three layers of the tile set so basically what you can do is select uh, an object on, ta on the same the same um, the same level uh, like uh, the bridge they stand out pretty much and uh, the chest themselves too they stand out pretty much but I'll choose the bridge so I know this is roughly this palette because it, it has the light colors here so I'm gonna choose that and I'm gonna scroll down this here allows you to scroll down so I'm going to scroll down until I find the wooden bridge. Okay, you see it's here. It's right here. Okay, so I know I'm in, I'm in the right area of uh, the ROM. Now I'm going to go to my good palette. 
And do I see the chest? No, you gotta you gotta you gotta scroll down with uh, a greater a greater detail of precision. So you use uh, this one here. You can. Okay, you see, I see the top chest, bottom chest, bottom chest. So now what you can do is uh okay this has to be set uh four bpp SNS is set by default when you open S SNS ROM but you can have three bpp it's gonna mess up because it's not actual three bpp or other system uh uh graphic system not graphic system but formats so okay I know the chest is here so now I'm gonna I'm gonna change the the tiles uh the tile layout so 16 by 32 no that's no good 16 by 24 that's no good 32 by 32 a oh that's not really good 32 by 32 b okay i got my old chest here now so uh okay you see at that point i got both here and here so uh yeah f for the sake of the example I'm going to I'm going to bring it uh, to the top uh, Okay so I got my my two chest here Oh Oh it's right here Oops, I missed it. Okay, I got them. Uh, you can zoom out. You see, you see your chest. But uh, I prefer you, you zoom like that. It makes the ease the editing easier. So uh, you got your chest. So uh, we're going to leave this for now and we're going to start by changing the palette. So Okay, you got your palette in SNS pal. You got your GIMP open. So now you're going to go to uh, Windows. Dockable Windows. You're going to select palette. Make sure first your graphic is in mode uh, indexed. Uh, f no, but usually if it's a SNS graphic it should be in 16 colors maximum. 15 actually plus the transparency so make sure this index is selected you're going to go to Google windows dock about wind the dialogs and you're going to choose palette palette you have a bunch of uh, default palettes but you're going to choose color map of image one double click that and you got all your colors of the chest here you see this one uh, it has it has 12 colors, the last four are not used, it's all black. So what you're going to do now, you're going to select this one here. And uh, you're going to double, uh, double, oh no, you're going to go on, you're going to go on Windows, Dockable Dialogs, and you're going to choose colors. So you see basically, each time you're going to select a color. I'm going to put that here. Each time you select a color, it's going to appear here. So what you want, you're going to press scale. Well, this is not mandatory, but it helps to see uh, each channel of color. So this is a uh, X notation, hexadecimal notation. So the color is 28, 18, 20. You're going to go on your first color here, 51. You're going to right click. And you're gonna put 28, 18, and 20. Twenty here. Second color. Well, we're gonna do a uh, SNS pal first. Uh, you go in SNS pal. You make sure your first color is selected. And you're gonna change it to, uh, yeah, okay. 
now the SNS colors in the in the game are not 0 to 256 or FF or 100 what I mean what I mean is that you gotta divide the value by 8 so 28 in X divide by 8 equal 5 so you put that to 5 if you're not sure you just divide with the calculator uh, 18 divided by 8 is 3 and uh, 20 divided by 8 is 4 so you see I got my, my color match I go to the next one I go to the next one now my second color is a purple here uh, oh I lost my color window oh no it's right there Color window 68, 68, 88. So 68 is uh, 13. I'm going to right click here. Oh, I can do this one first. Uh, 13. 68 is 13 again. And 88 is 17. I see I got my purple. So here I'm going to change it uh, again to 68, 60, 68, and 88, 88. Okay, so you got your purple. So basically, you do that for all your colors, and in this case, we're going to do the 12 first. And you can omit the last four since they're, they're not used. Same in the in the palette in, in SNS palette, you can do the same here. So you do that. Uh, after that, you click save, and you're basically done with uh, SNS palette. Uh, however, if you close YYCHR and you come back, you're gonna have to redo the, that process because uh, it doesn't write the new palette in the safe state it ju is just it just it can just read it so you'll have to switch back your color so make sure you do all your edits at one time otherwise you'll have to start over to uh, assign the new colors here uh, so basically I got a I got a working copy here that I already edited so you see the chest the chest is here same thing, it match, and uh, this is what the palette looks like once it's completed. So basically, this is all your palette. So okay, I'm done with that. So basically, uh, I'm gonna close this since my palette is good and uh, yeah okay so the the last thing you gotta do now I know this is my chest we add it here we see we know that next to it is the is a, is a open chest so basically what you need to do after is only sprite the the chest so uh, I'm pretty bad at this so uh, I'm going to open the empty chest, open with GIMP, I'm going to zoom, image, configure grid, I'm going to set to white, and one, the pixels, I'm going to set the show grid. Okay, I'm 32 by 32. Okay, it's okay. Sometimes you can, if your image is too big, you can scale it down to half of its size, so it fits. It was, it was, a, it was a scaled image. So, reducing it to 16 by 16 doesn't change anything as long as you select uh, no interpolation. So it's just gonna scale, scale to uh, close this neighborhood. Okay, so I got my open chest. Why is it big? Too big? Okay. So I got my open chest. So now I'm gonna just gonna sprite the. I'm gonna sprite the thing. 
I'm pretty bad at this, so uh, bear with me. Is it the one? No, that's not the one. I think it's this one. No, it's not this one. No. Well, where is the color? I think it's this one. Yeah, it's this one. So I'm gonna go with that. Like that. Like that. So now, uh, I'm really concentrated. Is that the actual color? Yeah, yeah, okay. Uh, now we got three here. Three here. Okay. Uh, we got that purple. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. This, this, so it's a, so it's, uh, it's a relatively long process, but once you, once you get the end of it, it's not so bad. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. One, two, one, two, three. And one, two, three, four. This, this. This. This is good, this is good. So I'm gonna f do these later. Uh, this is this. Yes. Yeah, it's pretty hard to see. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, it's all, yeah, it's all that. Okay. Yeah, it's all that. Okay, so basically, this whole thing until here, this whole thing until, whoops, until here, I'm not sure if that's brown or, yeah, it got brown, uh, is it brown here? No, that's not it. Um, yeah, so basically you do this. And, uh, is that the one? No, that's not the one. Is that the one? Oh yeah, that's the one, okay. Like that. Like that. I'm going to do the old thing here. One, two, three, one, two, one, two, three. Now you go like that. Like that. Uh, one, two, three, four, five. So basically like that. Like that. like that so yeah this is uh, I'm pretty sure there's people that are uh, better than me to this like that like that like that so basically all that I'm gonna do the other color after okay so this is good now the top has been done okay so uh, I'm gonna select this this like that we got the gray the gray that is oh yeah okay here all right is that the good gray yeah, it's a good gray, I think. 
Yeah, the color are lighter a bit than what right here for CHR. Uh, now we're gonna do. There's a darker gray. What is this one? This is. This. Uh, this. This. This um, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. so we could this uh, this yeah that's the one this 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 Okay, I'm gonna do the the yellow that yellow part. Um, this 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 this. No, no, I messed it up. Uh, this 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 is this. Okay, it's alright. Uh, this this. This, this. Okay, so now I'm gonna do the the black. It's gonna help. Not the black, but the, the dark blue. I think it's this one here. Yeah. All this. Oh, it's like that. Okay. Like this, 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 one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, like that, like that, like that, like that. Mm, one, two, three, four. Like that. Yep. Mm -mm -mm. Sorry for uh, mumbling, but I'm really concentrated. So you do that for uh, this. Oh, it's getting shape. It's getting shape. Um, yeah, okay. I'm going to do that yellow on top. Uh, one, two, three, four. One, two, three. One, two, three. And uh, that purple. Purple ear. Purple ear, purple ear, and this, 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 light gray, this, 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 this. this. This, 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 this. Uh, yeah, we got that. Now we got the blue, the blue, the blue. Yeah, there's two colors that are really close one to each other. I think that's the good blue. Um, yeah, no, that's not the right one. This is right, 
this is right this is the void yeah there's two colors that are all really close it's hard to tell and we got the purple here uh, and the button which is this one Oh, it's the, the other one. Okay. Okay, so basically I'm going to fill the whole thing. All this. Ah, yeah, so we're getting close. Am I missing anything? Yeah, obviously. I'm missing this. Oh, this is a uh, this is more black. Yeah. This okay. Yeah, so pretty much look the same. I think Do we got a match. Do we got a match? How about this? Uh, no, we don't have a match. This has to be this. Oh, I know this. It's not that actually. It's the blue. Mm -hmm. Like that. Like that. Yeah. So now we're pretty good, I think. Yeah. If if it's not really that, it's pretty close. No, I got the wrong one. Here it's not the same, it's not matching. One, two, one, two, three. Okay, so this has to be this. No. This one. And finally the the this one. And this, uh, hmm, 56 goes over here. Oh, I messed it up again. This is all good, it's just the gray. No, it's a blue. Pretty confusing. Okay. Okay. Now I think I'm done. Does it look like it? No. I don't know if it's... Yeah. I'll leave it like that. Yeah, I think that's it. It's pretty hard to tell in GIMP. If I remove the grid... Uh, Yeah, it's definitely brownish here. Okay, I got it right. Okay. So when you got your chest, oh, oh, oh. Actually, these are. Uh, yeah. Yeah, they're definitely lighter. than the other one. Alright, so uh, I'm, I'm gonna be done speaking alone soon. Yeah, that that's pretty much it. Uh, okay, 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 okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, I forgot one. Right here. Yeah, I totally messed it up here. That's not, that's not right. This is right. This is right. And this is right, like that. And here too. 
Okay. All right. So finally, after minutes of waiting, we got our chest. So we're just gonna. I'm, I'm not sure if I had the ROM open elsewhere. Uh, let me close this. No. This is. Uh, no, this is okay. I close this. I got my two instances. That's, uh, that's not really a problem. Okay. So you got your uh, chest done. I'm gonna save. Now we're gonna go see in game. Uh, the close chest was. Uh, yeah. I rarely use uh, ZSNS, but uh, for the sake of this example. Got our close chest I've done before. And we're gonna go see if it opens properly. Zone. Yeah, we got our chest. Alright. So yeah, uh, that cover is pretty much what I wanted to show. So uh, basically this is a, a way to do the process. The process. There's other thing with Warwright CHR, like such as uh, choosing offset, you can jump to an offset uh, directly. But uh, usually it's finding the area where your palette is in the ROM map, uh, finding your graphics in YYCHR, and uh, editing your graphics with the help of GIMP as well. So uh, yeah, alright, so thanks for watching guys, have a nice day.